Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Uh, I truly appreciate it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, the issue is solved. Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's super, yeah. super yes, good. Yes. yes, very nice. Yeah, everything's good now. Okay, everybody. So before leaving, um, yes. before kicking us off, thank you for the confirmation. We were supposed to go to these groups, right? And uh, practice a little bit talking about lo que usamos para el trabajo, what do you normally wear for work, and also lo que andamos como indigentes en la casa. <laughs> and I say that because that's what I do, you know. No sé si les pasa, but when you get to your house, it's like, oh, please, you know, I get, I change my clothes, right? And I wear something different. O no les pasa. Doesn't it happen to you? Yeah, right. You feel more comfortable, so you get a t-shirt, you get something different to wear in your house. So, I'm going to send you guys to practice to these groups, talk to them, practice vocabulary. Si escuchan una palabra nueva or a new uh, word, you didn't know, un nuevo item of clothing, por favor, agreguenlo a su lista. So, add it to your list, okay? So give me one second here and let me send you to the groups. Now, yeah, they are super ready. So everybody, let's go there. Get there, please. And the home and sweater, hat, shirt, t-shirt, cleats, jeans, shirt, and um, crocs is is usually no must. Okay. Um. Well, it would be I use it. How how do you pronounce it? Usually. 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 Uh -huh. eh, sería jeans, short, eh, boots, blouses, eh, shoes y gloves. Eso sería. O puede ser I wearing, que es W E I R E N G, como wearing. Como escribirlo así y es decir como yo estoy usando o yo estoy o, o lo que llevas puesto. Oh. I wearing, wear, porque wear es como vestir. Entonces yo estoy vistiendo. I. I, I wearing, I wearing, wearing uh -huh, uh, the sweater, the blouse, the pants, and jeans, and the shoes. No más. Oh. Bueno, eso no lo sabía. Mm, um, I using clothes, uh, shirt, uh, pants, shoes, cap, t-shirt, uh, boots, <laughs> only. Okay. Marlos. Unai, este um, user for work, este ocupo en mi trabajo, shirt, pants, jeans, choice, este reloj, no sé cómo se pronuncia, watch, no sé. Watch. Uh -huh. 
y protein glass, este, lente de protectores, más que es obligación, y gloves, y este, calcetines, choice parece que es. Knuckle. Este, no, ajá. Uh -huh. Eso sería. Ok. Calcetini se dice, eh, puede decirse eh, shot. 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 Eh, Gracias. Ah, oh, you can use socks. So, so, sorry, socks. yeah, yeah, for Cassettines, you can use socks. Okay. The shoes Thank and you. socks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And sneakers is, is the shoes and the, oh, yes. what? Yeah, sneakers are, how can I explain this? Okay. Normally, nosotros en El Salvador le conocemos como tenis, you know? <laughs> But okay. tennis shoes uh, are not the same. So, si usted usa como zapato, digamos los tenis, eh, mm -hmm. para, para salir, you know, eh, to go to the park or something, esos son sneakers. Mm -hmm. So, tennis okay. solo como para jugar tenis. Ajá, so, los que nosotros le llamamos tenis, normally son sneakers. Uh, sneakers. That's the name. I, I love sneakers. I prefer okay. to be on a sneakers. To me. Rather than high heels, sandals, or anything. I love sneakers. Uh -huh. okay. Se pronuncia sneakers como los como chocolates. Como chocolate. Ah, <laughs> yeah. eso me parece extraño. Yeah, I know. But it's not like I'm wearing sneakers, so se entiende que I'm wearing. Yo los estoy usando. Y el otro es I'm oh. eating. <laughs> I'm oh. eating sneakers. Uh -huh. So that's the difference. But yeah, how so how do you different. say use? Oh, we are, we are. Yeah, Is for correct? Clothes, we rather, oh, give me a second. Creo que no se los compartí a todos. Bye. Sneakers. Yeah, para ropa, como ustedes lo están haciendo, super perfect, so we can just wear. So I wear, I wear sneakers, I wear, I wear sandals, I wear okay. uh, high heels, como zapato alto, right? High heels. Mm -hmm. So that would be, I wear. How do you say, um, cuando es uniforme, eh, digamos, como en español se llaman filipinas, no sé, cuando es como un uniforme médico o algo, no sé si es eso es nombre in, ya propio. Me agarro en curva. <risa> first, first, please, eh, para general knowledge, explain to me, ¿qué es una filipina? Una filipina es como una, una camisa médica de las que usan para turnos, el área médica, el área clínica. Pijamas. Los médicos, los uniformes, ah. las pijamas. Ah, ah ya, yeah. I knew it was pijama, pero es no, la pijama. Pero no es el uniforme, sino que es como la camisita, um, ¿verdad? Con doble costura, que tienen uh -huh. a veces como dibujitos para, para los que trabajan uh -huh. con ellos. Uh -huh. ¿Eso se llamaría siempre filipinas o sería como...? Doctor Unifer, uniforme o algo así. Uh, to be honest with you, denme un par de minutitos y ya le averiguo, because I don't want to lie. <laughs> I didn't okay. know que era una filipina. Ok, so uh, um, let me investigate y cuando regresemos le tengo el nombre. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Ok.
Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Why are you so quiet? What happened? <laughs> you terminar? Did, did you finish? Did you get like all the vocabulary you needed? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, because you're very, very quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, all right. So, in, in, I mean, si podemos encontrar como más vocabulary, that would be great. Okay, try to get as much as possible. Herman, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Yo sé que, I mean, no se siente al 100%, but thank you so much for, for hacer el esfuerzo de, de compartir con nosotros un par de minutos. All right. So, um, okay, everybody, I will give you like one minute. Eh, revisamos si hay algo más que, que queramos compartir con los compañeros vocabulary y luego regresamos. Medical talk. Hi, hi, guys. Hi. How are you doing here? Did you finish? Ya casi termina. Is everybody done? Sí, casi. Solo tenemos como una duda, que no sabemos cómo se dice camisa sin mangas o cómo se pronuncia. Okay, sure. Let me help you with it. Eh, so, esta parte, you know, this part, se llama sleeve. So, si le quito, se llama sleeveless. Mm -hmm. ¿Se pronuncia? Sleeveless. Sleeveless, como sin. Uh -huh. Sleeveless. Uh -huh. So, that is one way to say it. So, you can say like sleeveless blouse, sleeveless. Pero no es, neces no es necesario como agregarle, o si hay que agregarle shirt y todo eso. Okay. Yeah, pero normalmente tienen como ya los nombres específicos, entonces, it depends, um, I have to like, see, sí, because, porque la mayoría tiene como un nombre bien así, tal cual, you know, por ejemplo, si es un, como los que le llamamos centros, eh, mm -hmm. so we can call it tank top, entonces ya el nombre está dado, eh, or sometimes solamente top, right, so, mm -hmm. entonces depende, como las, las que usamos de tirantes, so, uh -huh. Uh -huh, we can call it a top, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Pero sí es, pero de lo contrario sería como sleeveless blouse. Sleeveless blouse. Mm -hmm. Gracias. <laughs> Welcome. Sandalias Pro. No sé si salí antes, teacher, o, o todavía está en los grupos. Eh, no, mis, ya volvimos, ah. pero creo que alguien me está compartiendo pantalla. <laughs> Ajá, I think somebody is sharing the screen. Ah, Luis Mario, si me ayuda, por favor. Ok, there we go. Okay, everybody, so thank you so much for, for coming back. All right. Sorry, Luis Mario. Uh, I think este, hey. le gané la, la compartición de la pantalla. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, traveseando. All right. No, no se preocupe. That's totally fine. You're welcome. So, uh, Carla, le debía una palabra, and I have been searching for that because I wanted to learn also, porque sí me, me interesa, you know, y encontré esta. That is the medical term or el, el nombre como bien específico of the word that you were asking me for. So you can call it a, a scrub top. Es un top. So that is the word that is used. Eh, en general es medical. Medical uniform is fine or medical top. En, en todo caso sería top. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that I, 
that I found. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so tell me, what are some of the most common uh, clothing items that you wear? What do you wear, guys? T-shirt. Okay, to be, okay, let's, let's start with work, okay? So when you go to work, what do you wear? Shirt. Do you wear formal clothing? Many like, people. Mm -hmm. Many people use suit. Okay. In your case, Roberto, do you wear a suit? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Uh, usually, I wear a suit. Oh, okay. So formal clothing. Yes. Formal attire. Okay. What about the rest? Who wears formal clothing? Like a suit or a jacket or a blazer to go to work? Silvia, do you wear a suit? or formal clothing? No. Okay, so Sylvia doesn't. Anybody else wears formal clothing? Nobody. So what do you wear to work? Uh, in, in, in my case, in uh -huh. my case I, I usually wear formal clothing. Okay, so formal clothing. So Francisco yes. and Roberto, okay. Anybody else? Glenda, what about you? I wear dress, dress pants and suits. Okay, me. okay, so suit, dress, pants, okay, I like it, very nice. What about for being in your house? What do you wear? When you stay I in your house? I wear t-shirt, yeah. Okay, so t-shirt, okay. Jeans and shorts okay. for be behind at home. Oh, okay. So that sounds very like comfortable. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yes. Sorry, I thought somebody said something. Okay. Now, guys, we are going to do a little, little activity. I want you to just like stand up and go and try to get like pretty quick eh, su item favorito. Como su eh, siempre tenemos como una blusa favorita una gorra favorita right so try to get it y vamos a describirla como like como es all right or anything that it means to you francisco yo creo que ya la tiene ahí right <laughs> i see you with the cup so i think that is a cup so try to get everybody you can stand up pueden pararse y vayan a buscar como un item de ropa o si ya lo andan puesto well that's good que sea como su favorito o el que más usan, the one that you wear the most. Maybe a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a blouse, a jacket, okay. So we are going to make like a brief presentation of that. Let me know when you are ready. Vamos a mostrarla, we are going to show it to the, to the screen, okay, so try to get it guys. So we are going to present the light. This is my favorite. This is my favorite cap. This is my favorite blouse. This is my favorite uh, pair of shoes, you know. And then we can describe it. I, en la clase anterior pedíamos adjetivos, si se recuerdan, como eran. So podemos usar palabras como comfortable, es, es cómodo, right? You can use the words like, es fresco, it's fresh. Uh, si es liviano, it's light. También podemos describir el color, it is blue, it is red. Si tiene como el nombre de la marca, you can also say it. Um, so, podemos usar palabras como es eh, barato, expensive, you know, la idea es describirlo. So, we are going to use, like, we are going to make like a little description of your favorite um, piece of clothing. So, is everybody ready? Todos tienen listo, like, your favorite piece of clothing? I need more time, please. <laughs> yes, I, I know, I know. I'm going to give you time. La idea es que, que ya lo tengamos como así, ready, you know, that you got it. I 
hay personas que usan un, como un pequeño pin. Entonces, si es un pin, it's fine. That's totally good. So I will give you like three, four minutes para que hagamos una pequeña descripción and then we can have some volunteers. Porque hoy voy perdida en la clase. Ah, uh, perdón, Miss. <ríe> Color ocre. Okay. Give me one second. Roberto, I'm writing the color. De hecho, el color es, para mí este es el color, es como el nombre de una banda musical. Uh, so, vamos a hacer una descripción, si log logran ver mi pantalla, like very similar to the one that I have right here. The one that I have in here. This is my favorite, and then you can say, oh, this is my favorite cap. This is my favorite uh, dress. Y lo mostramos, right? So it is comfortable, es como cómodo, es fresco, it's, it is fresh. Uh, it is comfortable. It is fresh. Son pantalones, podemos decir, they are. So they are beautiful, O sea, son como muchos colores. A veces me gusta la ropa como de colores. So you can say it is colorful. So es como muy colorido. It is colorful. So one more minute. Uh, voy a dejar de compartir mi pantalla. In the meantime, mientras terminamos con eso, solamente eh, déjeme pasar asistencia por si alguien se me quedó fuera de la asistencia. Uh, me ayudan con su cámara, please. And uh, solo ya les confirmo. Me voy a hacer. Okay. I see. Ok, so del control inicial me hacía falta Bismarck, Fátima Elizabeth, Gerardo Alexis, Gloria Pacheco, Jorge Jule, Present. Thank you, José Naum, Luis Mario. Present. Thank you. And uh, I am missing Nelson Alfredo. Creo que vi a Nelson por ahí. Venga, Nelson. Nelson. Yes. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ah, oh, I see you now. Thank you. I was like, looking around. Okay. Thank you. And Jessica. Jessica, I don't see Jessica, all right. Okay, that's all right. Okay, everybody, so uh, is everybody ready? Are you ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. 
Okay, awesome. Yes, yes. So we have like some minutes, so I would like to listen to some volunteers. Eh, this is the beginning of the week. Entonces me gustaría escuchar a alguien que eh, casi no escuchemos, que no reconozcamos la voz. So Evelyn Carolina, casi no la escuchaba, dale. <laughs> Let me go with you, okay? Bien, eh, my blues favorite, que por cierto es esta, no sé si se ve, esa camisa, okay. is green, uh -huh. is comfortable, yeah. is light, fresh, y uh, light, que es, bien, es pequeña. Oh, okay, nice, I like it. That is a beautiful color, by the way. I like green. All right, thank you, very good. Evelyn, escoja a la siguiente década. <laughs> Choose. Sería Roberto. Robert, I have two Robertos. Roberto Morales and Roberto uh, Betancourt. So who? Morales. Morales. Okay. So you <laughs> are the chosen one. Let's go with you, Roberto. This is my favorite chair. Um, the color it is. Maroon. Uh-huh. I like the shoe because it's very fresh. And okay. A little... That's perfect. That's all right. So, okay. That's a maroon. Okay. That's a maroon shirt. And that's a, a long sleeve shirt. It's manga larga, right? I didn't see that. Oh, yes, it is. Very nice, okay, I like it. Very good description, Roberto. So, Roberto, select one more person, please. Who is the last person? You have a lot of work to choose. <laughs> so, select anybody. Herson. Herson, so Herson Marquez. Okay, Herson, let's go with you. Oh, uh, this is my favorite T-shirt. Oh, the oh. one you're wearing, okay. Yes because has a donut before it has donuts. What is that, donuts? Yes. Okay, okay. I like the and colors, okay. It is very comfortable. Ah, okay. Nice, yeah. okay, I like it. And it's very interesting that it is your, your favorite <laughs> and you are wearing that, okay. Donuts, I'm like, because of food? <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> Nice, that's okay. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for your nice attendance today. It's super good. Esperemos que terminemos con la semana super strong. Eh, ya casi terminamos el módulo, así que gracias por hacer el esfuerzo de siempre estar una hora con nosotros. Eh, just a little something. Um, yo sé que en la plataforma algunos tienen dificultades que no les marca con verdecito en la parte superior, right? Algunos ejercicios. No se preocupen porque es como eh, el sistema es así, you know? a veces no les va a marcar algunos. Pero lo que sí vamos a revisar es que el sistema nos marque que entregamos las que se llaman knowledge check, right? Después de un video por lo general hay un ejercicio. Y en la parte de arriba le dice 20%, 30%. Estas son las que son evaluadas. So, eh, chicos, si alguien todavía me debe de la sesión 1, 2 y 3, les voy a pedir encarecidamente que me ayuden y me las terminen el día de ahora. Right? Yo les agradezco porque algunos ya están súper completos, ya avanzaron con la 4, así que very nice, súper, súper good. Pero si todavía usted es uno de los que me debe, you know, <ríe> por favor, ayúdenme a completarle el día de ahora. Si no lo voy a estar molestando, please, ayúdenme, complétemela. Porque necesito enviar el reporte, all right? So, gracias a todos. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Que disfruten su cena. See you guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank